ह्यूमनिस्टिक साइकोलॉजी द फादर ऑफ ह्यूमनिस्टिक साइकोलॉजी इज इब्राहिम मास्लो दिस न्यू स्कूल ऑफ साइकोलॉजी रिफ्लेक्ट्स द रीसेंट ट्रेंड ऑफ ह्यूमनिज्म इन साइकोलॉजी इब्राहिम मास्लो कॉर रॉजल्स रोलो मे ऑर्थर कॉम्स गॉर्डन ऑलपोर्ट एंड अदर एमिनेंट वर्कर्स हैव कंट्रीब्यूटेड टू इट्स ग्रोथ ह्यूमन साइकोलॉजी गिव्स मोर वैल्यू टू द ह्यूमन बीइंग बाय नॉट कंसीडरिंग ह्यूमन मेयरली एज अ सोफिस्टिकेटेड मेकानिज्म आर अ विक्टिम ऑफ द कंफ्लिक्ट बिटवीन द ईगो एंड द आई इट कंसिडर हिम एज अ पर्पसफुल बींग capable of adapting himself to his environment choosing his own course of action in order to achieve the goals which he has selected for himself these goals may be as simple as the satisfaction of a common physical need or as lofty as the attainment of self realization or personal fulfillment humanist psychology emphasizes such distinctively human aspects of personality as the existence of free will and freedom of choice a man search for unique goals and values to guide his behavior and to give a personal meaning to his existence ibrahim maslow humanist psychology who developed the hierarchy of needs believed that self actualization is the ultimate psychological need the second humanistic psychology that core roger co-founder of humanistic psychology with ibrahim maslow main contribution was in clinical therapy and application of humanism started person centered psychology A musician must make music an artist must paint a poet must write if he is to be ultimately at peace with himself this is the quotation given by ibrahim maslow ibrahim maslow the psychological world was focused on behaviorism and psychoanalysis one of maslow most important contribution to psychology was the theory of human needs developed in the late 1960 this theory explained that human needs were hierarchical in nature he believed that humans strive to reach the highest levels of their capabilities humanistic psychology the third force this was launched officially in 1964 and the chief leader is ibrahim maslow and kotler rogers derived from the philosophy of phenomenology focus on subjective experience basic assumption of humanistic psychology humans have free will not behavior is determined all individuals are unique and have an innate inborn drive to achieve their maximum potential a proper understanding of human behavior can only be achieved by studying humans not animals psychological psychology should study the individual case rather than the average performance of groups humanistic psychology it is psychological perspective that emphasizes the study of the whole person humanistic psychologist looks at human behaviors not only through the eyes of the observer but through the eyes of the persons doing the behavior developed in the 1960s and 70s in the united states as a response to the continual struggle between behavioral theories and cognitive psychologist describes a anthropocentric or human centered free will this approach is very different to others in its view of free will it claims that all humans are basically self determining we are active agent in determining our own development we choose who we become evaluation of humanistic approach what are the limits 
the limits of humanistic approach is concepts or value and subjective maslow fully actualized person theory based on case studies and observations cultural development irrelevant is non western cultures where the individualization and self centered theory is not valued somewhat naive in the approach to the evils of the world substance has helped people to see the need for acceptance empathy and nurturing positive feelings i feel i good about me self loss seeks to understand behavior in human terms from the view of the person who is unhappy confused transpersonal psychology transpersonal psychology is one of the latest approach prevalent in contemporary psychology the work of ibrahim maslow in term of self actualization by harnessing one's fullest potential may be said to be cornerstone of this school of psychology it focuses its attention on the study of personal experience that seem to transcend ordinary existence in other word what we think and how we feel in our altered state of awareness once again what we think and how we feel in our altered states of awareness this is the fundamental of transpersonal psychology what we feel and how we feel in our altered states of awareness is the subject area of transpersonal psychology these states may be reached during states of severe stress and distress or in moments of great excitement and happiness they may be aroused during periods of sleep or deep concentration experimentally they may be induced with the help of some specific drugs religious conversations yoga and transcendental meditation transpersonal psychology posits that spiritual self development peak experience mystical experience systematic trans and other occult experience of living help humanity reach its highest potential stems from psychoanalysis behaviorisms and humanistic psychology means the stems of transpersonal psychology is related to behaviorism psychoanalysis and humanistic psychology seeks to describe and integrate mystic experience with modern psychological therapy theory